Well, remember when Central Library was at the corner of 4th and Denver downtown? It will be again, but when? Rick Wells looked around the big construction project that will become the Central Library, and he's live there now with an update new at 6. Rick? Yeah, it's like the never-ending project. But to answer your question, Terry, as to when, well, it's going to be a while. Maybe a year, maybe 15 more months. And today, the library folks staged a little event, the demolition of the sign, to give us a chance to talk about the project. So, let's do it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Construction projects require an outfit. I used to work at the, the men's warehouse. <laughs> Vest and hard hat, and we were in. I was curious, as are most people driving by, what it looks like inside. With everything torn out's a little disorienting. And that big space over there used to be the Aronson Auditorium. Our tour guide was Mike Leach, the project manager. He told us all the tearing out's pretty much been completed. What that crew is doing is putting a ductwork together for the heat and air system. Oh, the bottom there is this hole. That's the old basement down there. It used to be mostly storage. In the new library, it'll provide space for an education and learning center. We pulled up some file video from a decade ago. Remember when the library looked like this? There were books and computers and file cabinets and people doing research and more books. Well, it'll be that again and more, they tell us. Outside, they're beginning construction of a multi-story parking garage for library patrons. Today was all about one more demolition project. Get rid of that old sign. Workers from Ark Wrecking cut it loose from its posts, and they gently lowered it to the ground. And I was kind of hoping for a wrecking ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a wrecking ball would have been spectacular. I mean, but no. Well, here's some good news. The Institute of Museum and Library Services, a federal agency, has selected... Tulsa City County Library as one of its 30 finalists for its top award. They'll announce the winners in early April. Rick Wells, News.